everybody. Diamonds by Tita here. Thanks so much for stopping by, hanging out with me. Look at this humongous bag of Timu. They combined um, two big orders um, into one. It actually was kind of lost there for a while. Um, it's taken, I don't know, almost four weeks to get here, which is really unusual for them. But anyway, um, first of all, let me just welcome everybody in. Thanks for stopping by. If you've stumbled upon my channel for the very first time, I hope you enjoy the content. Um, I do a lot of unboxings. I do um, uh, whipping chats. I, um, yeah, I do lots of hauls, lots of unboxings. Um, generally enjoying the craft of diamond painting. Love diamond painting. Um, I also am starting to do some cross stitch. Anyway, so that's just a little bit about me. And if you're returning, uh, welcome back. I so appreciate you all, all of you viewers that are watching or supporting my channel and making it possible that um, I bring all this to you. So thank you. So this is mostly diamond paintings, it's a little bit of jewelry, some um, household items, um, and one cross stitch. Definitely not getting through this in one video, probably not two. There's just too much to do in um, at a time. So. Let me, let me go ahead and um, I need to take some stuff out because I have to get to the bottom of this bag to get to the jewelry. Whoops, I'm, I'm dropping everything guys, I'm dropping everything. So hang in there for just a second. I, there's so much stuff in here. It is absolutely jam packed to the gills and I'm surprised that um, stuff didn't fall out. There were two humongous holes in it. And um, like I said, there's some jewelry items in here. There's some small items. So I want to start with a couple of, of that really quick. I'm going to do some non-diamond non painting stuff first. And then we're going to get into the diamond painting, I think. Okay, thanks for putting up with me here. All right. So this first one... This is um, a little spray bottle, and um, I've seen it on a couple different creators' websites or videos, and then they say that it works amazing. Um, I saw it on Miss Linda, um, Bella is a Morky, my her life and mine. Um, and I'm sorry, I can't remember who else I saw it in. So it's just a little spray bottle. Don't know exactly what I'm gonna be using it for. I've seen some people use it for olive oil. So I'm gonna be using it for that. I'm not putting prices because Timu prices change all the time. So I'm not doing that. And then I saw this. I think it is so cute. Now I'm really sensitive um, to metals. So I can't wear any nickel metal. It has to be um, it has to be silver or gold or you know the good stuff. So all of this they say is silver. I don't know if it's silver plate or not. But let me show you this little ring. Isn't it cute? It's really really cute. Now I do not have probably the I do not have model type hands at all but I can let you see it. I thought it's really pretty. So I've got that and all of these were very nominal. They were a few dollars, um, literally a few dollars. So let me just put this away for now. And I, you know, I have gotten a few pieces of, of jewelry and I was pretty happy with it. Now this one, let me show you this. They say that this is silver and it was stamped 925 and it literally was, I don't know, like $2. So I really find it hard to believe that this chain is truly silver. Maybe silver plate, um, but I don't, in fact, it's not stamped, I'll show you. It's not stamped here, although in the picture it was stamped. 
Yeah, it is not stamped. So this isn't silver. Maybe it's silver plate, I'm not certain, but I liked it. I thought it was kind of pretty. So there was that. And then, move that off the side. And then I've seen, you guys probably already have these. This is um, a jar opener. Sometimes I have a really hard time opening jars and I've got the little, I don't know what that is, like little silicone, little round doohickey things that help open. But I thought maybe this would help. Oh, I don't know what that black is on there. It's kind of icky. Again, the, these weren't very expensive. So I got that. And then um, I needed some earrings just for, as so I've got pierced ears and I've got two piercings, two holes in each earlobe. And I got these little teeny stars. I know you can't see them very well, but because they're really small. Um, so I got those. And then I got these I'm really happy with. Um, these are also some earrings. Hang on a second. These are just some little stud earrings. See, they're just little studs. And again, these are supposed to be silver plate, not nickel, because I can't wear any nickel earrings at all. And these came in a really nice little box. I mean, that would be nice for even like a little, um, a little Christmas gift or birthday gift or something. So yeah, so I, I got in that cute little box. So that's the extent of the jewelry and the household items. Now we can dig into the diamond painting. Um, I've got, oh, I fibbed, I'm sorry. I've got one more household item. Let me show you this thing. So again, method to my madness why I buy this stuff. This is supposed to be something that you clean the interior of your car windows with. So let me see if I can put this together here. Oh, maybe I can put this together. I'm supposed to be able to just put it in the little, there we go. So this moves this way. And then you're supposed to put these little, it's like microfiber, I think. Um, put these little microfiber cloths on that I don't think are gonna fit very well. Maybe they'll fit. Oh, of course, I'm doing this on camera and it's not coming out very well. Give me just another second here. There we go. Okay. So it pivots like this. So when you're doing like your front windshield, you can be going, you know, down like, I mean, down like this on your windshield or in the back window. And it's supposed to work to clean your windows. And I have a hard time um, getting, I've got real big front windows and real big back window. So I'm hoping that this little gizmo helps. Um, and again, they weren't very, it wasn't very much money. So now that is the end of my, of my stuff. All right. So let me start out with, um, start out with this one. Oh, I'm sorry. I hit the chair. I've got all the paintings on the chair that my camera is attached to. So sorry about that. Didn't mean to get you seasick. I have got a lot of cat paintings. I guess I'm really in a cat mode. I love this one. This little cat is so precious and it's gonna turn out so good because it's just the face of the cat. I mean, you do have some flowers here and everything. Um, but look at the eyes. The eyes are so pretty. Um, and of course, you know me, color, flowers, cats, any type of animal, you know, I am, I am good with. Um, this is a very sparkly canvas. It has 22 colors. 
And if you hear my dog bark, excuse her, because I think she's going to bark. I think somebody's going to be walking by at the front of the house. She's my little guard dog. All right. So anyway, it's uh, 21 colors. It is in... Hold on a second. can't read it upside down. Um, there are letters and symbols on this. And let me show you that grid. And then I'm going to show you real close. Everything is super clear. Like, oh, look at that eye. Isn't that great? And the little nose. I think this cat is going to turn out just beautiful. I think she needs to be next to my Larry the cat in my craft room. Okay, and here are the drills. And I'm sorry, I'm filming at night again. So I do apologize for some of this glare that you guys are seeing. Um, but I've got to film after work. I don't know what is going to be better. Let me try something different. Hang on just a second. Let me try something a little bit different. I'm gonna go up a little bit higher on my light and see if that's gonna help. It's just hard. Um, it's just hard filming when it when it gets dark. But these colors, I mean, we have lots of purple. There's grays, greens, pinks. Really pretty colors. All in a train. And as usual, it comes with a little standard boat. And let me just put this off to the side. And we will move on to the next one. Oh, and there I go bumping you again. My apologies. Now, I know better than to buy this. I guess in my mind, I was thinking, oh, it's going to turn, turn. It'll, it'll come out. It'll come out. But I don't think it is. This is a little 20 by 30, two little parrots. I'm going to bring you in a little bit. Not out. In. I mean, I just, I mean, it might come out. I'm not certain. But for me, um... I'm not partial to it, so in all honesty, I probably am not going to keep it. Um, I'm going to show you the drills just so that you can see it, but I really doubt that I'm going to keep this one. Now, I know there's a lot of people that love the small paintings, and would probably this would be probably just fine. It's just me. Um, I'm I'm not partial to it, and I should know better. I really like the big diamond paintings. So let me get rid of that one. And then let me show you. Now I'm gonna, sh uh, what am I gonna show you? I'm gonna show you this one. This is another cat. Now all of these, let me just show you, all of these are gonna come again with your standard kit. If there's something different, I will tell you about it, but um, I'm not gonna go into all of the all of the kits. Oops, getting stuck. This one I thought was precious too. And again, I think it's gonna turn out really well, even though again, I know it's really in these muted soft tones, but Again, you have just the face of the cat. And look at the eyes. The eyes are gonna be beautiful, I think. I am, I'm really happy with this one. Um, this is a 30 by 40. I didn't mention the other cat was a 30 by 42. I tend to kind of forget to say the size, so I'm sorry about that. Um, it has 25 colors. They are in numbers and letters. And the numbers do go in numerical order. A one's a one, a two's a two, a three's a three, etc. So it is considered TETA approved. Even though I don't paint by the number, I paint by symbol. But it bugs me when they're not in order. So here is that beautiful cat. 
I just think he's just adorable. Really, really adorable. Get that one out of the way. Now the colors in this, you're gonna have a lot of um, a lot of the grays and a little bit of blues in it, but the browns and the taupes. Again, I'm sorry about the you're not seeing the colors as well as what I would like. Unless I can do something. Hold on just a second. We're going to try something a little bit different. No, that just kind of gives glare. Well, maybe. Oh, that's maybe a little bit better, isn't it? You, you can see them now. Okay, so there is that one. So we've got cat number two. And now we are going to move on to... is not a cat. Imagine that. I think it was cold one night and I was wishing it was summer. Even though I complain about the heat. Is, isn't that par for the course? When it's cold, we complain about the cold. When it's hot, we complain about the hot. Oh my gosh, is that sticky? Is that double-sided tape? Hang on a second. Oh, this is double-sided tape. Oh, I don't like double-sided tape. This one's double-sided tape. Good thing I didn't roll it backwards. This is why it's kind of... Yep, that's why it's kind of smelly. It's double-sided tape. So um, this one will go back as well. I don't like double-sided tape. It's just my preference. I know, so don't, don't, you know, bash me for not liking double-sided tape. I know there are a lot of people out there that really, really like it. Um, I am just not a fan and I prefer poured glue. So this one will go back, but isn't it cute though? Look at the flip flops and the sunglasses, you know, and it says welcome. I thought it was really, really adorable. And again, I was wanting it to be a little warmer. So there is that one. I'm gonna to try to get rid of some of this glare. There you go, now you can see it better. One thing good about it being summertime, I've got light that I can film with. Um, it also, I'm sorry, I didn't show you the drills, pardon me. The drills are not in a bag and they come in these really vibrant colors. I'm not gonna open up the whole train but you can see that there's lots of really, really pretty colors. So that canvas will be very bright. Um, but I'm just gonna, that one's gonna go back. And then if we're talking about going back, I'm gonna show you another one that I'm not keeping. I wasn't gonna show it to you and then I thought, no, you guys need to know why I'm gonna send it back. First of all, this is double-sided. Second of all, it was totally folded in half. So it is, it, it, the canvas is really damaged. Third of all, it has a rubber band around it that made some, some indents on it too. So I think even someone that was liking a double-sided tape um, might not like this one. Although I loved the image. Um, let's see if I can show this to you. It was these little dogs. Can you see the little dogs? I'll put a picture of it up, um, up here somewhere, up here somewhere. I, and it was my fault. If I would have looked at all the pictures and the description carefully, I would have seen that this was a double-sided tape. They don't say it. They don't say poured glue. They don't say double-sided tape but oftentimes you will see it in the picture. So we'll look at all of the pictures and you'll see it. So that one is going to go back. And then let me show you this one. This is another cat one. Oh, my table's not gonna be big enough for this. This is a big 40 by 70. 
um, again, I think I'm just, I think I was just in the cat mode when I was buying these a month ago. I don't know, I don't know why, but I guess I must have been in a cat mode. But I love this one. Look at him so far. Isn't he gorgeous? This could be another companion piece to Larry. Yep, this is, could be a companion piece to Larry for certain. I'm going to turn him this way so you can see him a little bit better. Is that better? Even though I know it's a little bit darker. I just love him. He is absolutely stunning. He is a 40 by 70, only 23 colors. They are um, all in letters. I'm gonna bring this up so you can see that. Yeah, this, he is, I'm happy with this one. I am very happy with this cat. Um, I think you're gonna see his eyes. His eyes are beautiful. Um, I think you're gonna be able to see his whiskers like you did with Larry. I think some of that white is gonna show through um, the drills. At least I'm hoping so. If not, I'll have to put the white whiskers in. Um, there is some channels in in here, like in through here. I'm gonna have to work on getting that straighter. And yeah, you can can you see that? So I'm gonna have to work on getting that out. Um, but yeah, he is stunning. Although I think. If they wanted to, they could have made this smaller. I think they could have easily made this um, a, a 40 by 40 maybe, or 50 by 50, um, so you didn't have all this stuff at the bottom. I think you could have easily, like Larry, had just the headshot like that. But I love him. What I don't like is all these itty bitty bags. Look at all of the itty bitty bags. But that's okay. That's okay. That's Larry. Well, no, that's Larry's friend. I don't know what we're gonna call him, but that's Larry's friend. And I think I will do, um, I think I'm gonna, do one more guys. I'm gonna get the cross stitch. I'm gonna get the cross stitch and I'll tell you why I'm not keeping it. Now all these ones I'm not keeping, but I'm learning with cross stitch. I'm learning with cross stitch. To get more detail, you need to go to um, like a 14 or an 16 or an 18 count. Okay, so you need to go smaller. Here's what it looks like. It's a pretty butterfly. This is an 11 count. Okay, so it's bigger. Um, 14 count would have shown more detail. But when you need more detail, you need the smaller Ada and you need more colors. Um, that's what I'm learning. That's what I'm hearing from other creator, other cross stitchers. Um, so again, I'm learning this. I got it because I love the butterfly. So um, I'm just gonna show this briefly to you because again, I'm not gonna keep it. Um, this is the, the chart for it. And I'm gonna show you the Ada. And I'll show you the colors. Now this is, this is big because it's 11 count. So here it is. This only has, and it's really hard to read it, it only has 27 colors. I don't know if we're going to really have any, um, I, I, it's just not going to be as much detail, like in the hummingbird. Um, I, I just don't 
think it's going to turn out as well. Again, I'm a beginner. I could be totally wrong, but um, I am going to send this back. Also, um, Joy Sunday, I believe, has this pattern, and I thought I was getting a Joy Sunday, but obviously this is not. This is a generic. I'm going to show you the, the floss just real quick, and then I'm going to put it away um, because, again, I'm not going to keep it. But here's the diff the floss on it. So this is a haul that, you know, I'm, I'm keeping some and I'm not keeping some. But uh, again, I'm learning probably to stick to more of the name brands, the Joy Sunday or the Spring brand. Um, but I don't know what brand this is, but I, I'm not going to keep it. And you can kind of see if you get really close, I don't know, I, especially like in the outer ring, I I just don't know if those 27 colors are gonna be enough. Again, I could be wrong. If you guys are, are, are true cross stitch, I mean, if you guys are experienced cross stitchers, let me know if I'm wrong um, or if you think I should keep it. So that is all I have for you today. We will move on uh, next time with more diamond paintings. Um, I've got a lot more stuff coming. Um, and I'll briefly give you the recap. Um, here are my cute flip-flops, my beach scene, wishing it was summer. My beautiful cat, I love this one, love the eyes. Maybe that's what drew me to all these paintings are because of the eyes. They're all like this. I don't know, that night when I was shopping in the middle of the night and can't sleep. And here's the other one that reminds me of Larry again. So there's that one. Um, I'm sorry, I already packed up the, um, the little parrot because it's going to go back, the two parrots. And the double-sided adhesive is going to go back too. Um, but I just wanted to show you... If you order large size paintings, order like all large size paintings or all small size paintings, most of mine were 30 by 40s and I only had a few of this size because they fold them. So if you can get them to where they're all big, they're not going to fold them as much or there'll be less chance. At least that's what I found when I've ordered. I don't know, maybe maybe it just was the luck of the draw. I don't know. Um, that's where I'm at with, with this one. Um, so that is all I have for you guys today. Um, take care. Happy diamond painting. Happy crafting. Happy cross-stitching. Uh, enjoy your, the rest of your day or evening, wherever you may be at. Um, again, I really appreciate you watching and supporting my channel because without you, I wouldn't be able to bring you content. Um, you are you are the force behind my channel, that's for certain. So you take care, everybody. Um, and remember, you are perfect exactly as you are, and you don't have to be perfect to be amazing. And neither do your paintings. They do not have to be perfect. Don't worry if a drill is crooked, because it's going to be beautiful. Talk to you later, everybody. Bye-bye.